Hey, this is Rodney Walker here in Lexington, Kentucky at the Habitat for Humanity, as you can see. And I just got through getting a chance to hang out with uh, one of my new friends right here named Jeremiah. Say hello, Jeremiah. Will you say hello to the people there? Okay. He, he's going he's gonna to take us on a tour of his office. And I have some other students here, some from Ohio area. You'll get a chance to see them a little later. But, but we're going to go. Jeremiah, come take me to your office. Let's, let's go on a guided tour. Come on, guys. Let's just go and see what we can discover here on this little tour as Jeremiah takes us into his office. And I want to show you something. I want to share with you guys something. Those of you that are looking by video as well as those of you that are here. I'm going to go into his office and I want to show you something that I saw on his wall just a second ago. This is Jeremiah's wall. Now, Jeremiah, come tell us about this wall that you have here and how this relates to your grant efforts and all that stuff. Uh, so I am a very visual and wanted to lay out our entire year over a couple of years. So as we approach different properties and different partner families, each of our grantors have different needs. So it's helpful to lay all of those out in different ones. I also look at which pools we have funds available in. So some of our funds go back to Shop 2010, Fiscal Year 2010 federal grant. So we've been working with these for quite a while and we'll be hopefully closing them out soon. But with each of the different requirements, um, this is one place I can glance at to see what funds are available. Uh, which pool has which requirements, which properties need specific um, uh, environmental reviews, which properties have certain requirements of the families, and put them all together. I can also map out where we're headed over the next couple of years. So for instance, uh, what funding might be available for properties in the middle of 2018, um, from which pools and which funders. I love it. I love it because what we have here is he's already thinking ahead of the game, and he has a chart showing where he's headed to next. So. He's, the part that I love about it, he's not guessing about where he's going. He has it mapped out. It is strategic and it's highly organized. And so if you take a look here, you'll see those different years. And this is what you want to do as a grant professional to be ahead of the game, to not be guessing what you're going to do next, but to know what you're going to do next. Uh, this is considered a lot of ways a grant somewhat like a grant calendar if you will this is one way of kind of looking at it now what do you how did you start out when you started to do yours what did you what did you do first I actually started out with what we know we're going to be doing so these are the families that we're working with these are the lots that we have to work with we've got it so many properties in Brookfield Chase and then beyond here we need to figure out what properties we're going to be building on so this is what we know that we're doing um, and then what fits in for each program beyond that so uh, shop is a program that we can use to acquire properties, so I know that this is going to be important down here where we're looking for more. Uh, Federal Home Loan Bank is looking at certain income requirements for their families, so I can map out which ones of those are a good fit, which ones have special needs that might meet the program requirements for those, plug them all in. Now, another reason why this could be so important, it's good to have this because your it's good to have this for your office, into office purposes. Mm -hmm. It allows your staff to see where you're going and to see what's come in, what hasn't come in, what's kind of wait, what we're waiting for, as well as to let them know to see the whole bigger picture. So I think this is cool. Let's give a man a big hand clap for doing this. It's cool. Thank you for letting us in on your world of wow, grant writing. Thank you very much. Give him a hand clap, guys. Come on, give him a real hand clap. Good job. Thank you very much.